Hey everyone, it's Mari. Thanks so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I have a 12 by 12 scrapbooking process for the Scrapbook Nerd online shop and blog. And this week, the creative team is focusing on the collections from Pink Fresh Studio. And I am going to be using the collection Let Your Heart Decide for my layout today. So this is the six by six pad that I'm showing you here. And I used mostly just a six by six pad for paper for my layout. Now I'm going to be using this cut file from the Silhouette store called Split Circles. And I'm going to back all of the openings in this uh, cut file uh, using the six by six papers. So what I did was I just cut the, uh, the, the design from a piece of textured white cardstock. And then as you can see here, I'm just going to take a variety of different papers from that six by six pad. And I will show you how I went about doing this for at least one of the open spaces here. And then I will just shut my camera off and then do the rest off camera because it did, it did actually take me quite a while to back this entire cut file. Cause you can see that there are a lot of different spaces and I wanted for this particular layout to fill in every one of the spaces and not just some of them. So I really like how this turned out in the end and very quickly here we'll see a transition and you'll see the finished product. But all I did here was I just flipped the layout over and I adhered, I added a little bit of liquid adhesive using my fine line bottle to the back of the cut file in each of the different little sections. And then I just put the six by six paper on there and then cut around it. And that was the fastest way that I could think of to back this cut file besides just using one pattern paper with a, a bunch of different uh, patterns in it. That is another way of doing that that would be super simple, but I wanted to include a bunch of different patterns and papers. So this is how I went about doing it. So you can just see that I'm trimming off that excess and now you can see that very messy back and you can see how the front is really nice. I love how that looks like, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a patchwork or a quilt almost. And I really like the effect that it gives. Now I'm going to be scrapping this four by three photograph of my son, which was sent to me as a Snapchat. Um, so I usually screenshot those photos that he sends me because he doesn't send me very many pictures and he had to put a text box over top of it. But I ended up doing an overlay over top of that of my own using PicMonkey and then I printed it in black and white. I did a few adjustments of the photo in PicMonkey before I printed it. And now you'll just see that I'm going to uh, create my photo mat using, first of all, a layer of vellum and then just some of the other uh, six by six papers from the Let Your Heart Decide collection. I wanted some of the edges of the photo mat to be rough. So you can see that I do use my Tim Holtz ruler here just to tear off some little bits of paper from that photo mat. And eventually I'll end up with a fairly thin photo mat around each of the different sides. I didn't want too much paper poking out from the sides, just enough to give the um, colors, the impression of the colors that I'm using in the layout. And I am going to actually take a, a paper that has text on it from my stash. I'm not really sure where this paper came from. I think maybe Mm, I, I can't even venture a guess what collection it's from, but it's one that I just had. And I have a drawer in my scrap room that just has scraps in it. And so I just grabbed a uh, paper that was white with text on it and used that. And you'll see that as a final layer here on my photo mat. So that's coming up shortly and you'll be able to see that as the final piece. So I'm just sizing some of these papers down a little bit. I wanted, uh, you know, just a variety of different sort of layers going on here. I didn't want them all just to be stacked one on top of each other. And you can see that some are angled in different ways than others. So, so you can just see that effect there in that photo mat. I'm going to back the photo mat with a piece of craft foam just to give it a little bit of dimension and pop it up off the layout a little bit. And I'll just use a little bit of my ATG adhesive to stick that down. Now I've just added a little bit of sewing here. Uh, to my layout and what I thought I might do and I, I le decided to leave this in just so that you can see my feeble attempt at doing this and if you have 
What I really wanted to do is find out if any of you have tried to do curved text before, and if you have, how you went about doing it, please leave me a comment in the description box or in the comment section below, because I would really love to know a better way of doing this. So I did use the word art in Word, and I transformed the text so that it is in a curve. And I thought that I would put my text in or my journaling in a circle. I think I probably could have figured out a way of doing this that um, would have worked, but it just wasn't working out for me with where I wanted the photograph. And I think this would be a really neat effect. So I'm going to kind of shelf this for another layout and try this, uh, an attempt of this in another layout another time. But um, you can see I will just kind of, I, I decided to leave this in, not because it was successful at all, but just so that you could see what my idea was. I thought it would be really neat just to do a little bit of journaling in all of those different little sections. But I just couldn't quite figure it out and get it on there nice and straight and everything. So I just went and printed my strips of, uh, of journaling off in straight strips. So this is that text paper I was telling you about. I really love this text paper. Um, it's just got some really cool sentiments, but you can't see that anyways. What I really wanted it for was just for um, the, the different sort of contrast that text paper gives a photo mat. And I happen to love text paper. It's one of my favorite kinds of pattern papers. And it actually is not easy to find text paper that has a white background, but this is one and I wanted to use it. So I did. So that's the final layer in my photo map. Now you can see here, I'm going to use a variety of different embellishments from Let Your Heart Decide. This collection is off the charts. Amazing. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to use some of the die cuts. So this word carefree is from the die cut pack. I'm going to use some of the puffy stickers, including these puffy alphas as part of my title. So the main title is going to say, Be Carefree. And then underneath that is going to be my journaling strips. And then I'm just going to use some of the other stickers, um, dimensional stickers, die cuts, um, cardstock stickers, puffy stickers, and so on to um, just to embellish. Now, did I already re uh, mention that I did some gold sewing around three of those circles of that cut file? If, I've, if I'm repeating myself, please chalk it up to being 53 years old. And yeah, I forget stuff sometimes in these voiceovers. Or if I haven't mentioned it, hey, guess what? I did some sewing on three of the circles in gold, gold thread using my sewing machine. It just adds a little bit of extra texture to the layout and gives it just a little more detail and I like how that looks. So now I'm just going to continue to add a few more of those details. You'll be able to see here where I'm doing this. I love this collection, the theme of the collection for this photograph of Jordan. Um, he has got lots of things going on and lots of change happening in his life and I just thought that this was a really cool theme of this collection from Pink Fresh to use for this particular photograph of him. He's just doing his final assessments for the first year of his Masters of Applied Science. He's doing some exams and he's got some projects and presentations and like a lot of stuff going on. So, um, yeah, I just, uh, thought that this photograph that he sent me in a Snapchat from his uh, cubicle that he works in at the university was super cute. And I wanted to scrap that, uh, and just do a little bit of documenting uh, for this layout. So now you can see that I've just sized down that white cardstock, a quarter of an inch on all four sides. And I'm going to adhere that to a piece of yellow tone on tone on tone pattern paper from the let your heart decide collection. And I just really love how that just frames the layout in and it just brings that yellow, that soft yellow in again. I love that tone of yellow that's in this collection. It's not bright in your face yellow, it's just kind of subtle. And actually that's something that can be said about the, the color palette in this entire collection. It's just gorgeous. Now there are so many great stickers with this collection as well, including this phrase sticker sheet that also has um, other cardstock stickers and some alphas as well. I'm going to use a few of these in a few different little places, including this one that says a new chapter. I'm going to use that die cut piece that says take it easy. You can see on in that corner, I've used a dimensional sticker as well, which I love. And I'm going to put, or I've included a little bit of wood veneer underneath the journaling strips there as well that says follow your heart. 
Then I'm going to take some of those little square cardstock alphas and add those underneath the, the wood veneer and it will say be you and that will be it for my layout guys thank you so much for stopping by today i really appreciate it and make sure that you um hop over to the scrapbook nerd online shop i can't say enough about that online store it is awesome and the shipping is super fast and they have a ton of stuff so make sure you check it out. The link is in the description box below. And don't forget to leave me a comment if you have an idea about how to include curved text. So thank you so much again. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day. And I hope to see you another time here on my channel. Bye-bye.